welcome to The Daily English Show. The New Zealand Listener is one of the best magazines in New Zealand. Well, I think it is. And it's probably my favourite magazine in the world. I had a whole pile of them that my mum sent me in Tokyo, but I had to get rid of them when I moved here. But I kept a couple. This is one with Scribe on the front. He's a famous New Zealand musician. And this is Helen Clark, the New Zealand Prime Minister. Anyway, last month, The Daily English Show was mentioned in The Listener, which is cool, except that it's not really, because it was used as an example of boringness and irrelevance. Hmm, thanks Russell Brown, I love you too. Okay, so it's not like I haven't been told my videos suck before, and I don't really mind if people write comments like boring or I just wasted five minutes of my life. You know, whatever. But this is like my favourite magazine and it's not exactly the kind of debut I was hoping for. So I thought it was worth a bit of a rant. First let me read what they wrote. This article is about New Zealand YouTube and when that was launched one of the Daily English Show videos was featured on the New Zealand YouTube homepage. And this article is basically saying the videos they chose sucked, YouTube editors suck, the usual stuff people whinge about. Anyway, here goes. The featured clips appear to be the result of an automated text search for the terms NZ and New Zealand in the title or accompanying information for the video. Thus, a clip from a Canadian community series demonstrating the proper means of baking brownies has been featured because Deep in her profile, the uploader lists her hometown as The Coromandel, New Zealand. While this same collection of boring and or irrelevant clips sits unchanged on the homepage, a rather large domestic news story has been unfolding, blah blah blah, and it continues. Wow, it's so impressive how many mistakes you can fit into one paragraph. Where do I begin? Firstly, as you probably know, The Daily English Show is not a Canadian community series. I know this is Acadia, but I don't think it takes too long to figure out that The Daily English Show isn't actually Canadian. And because he's a journalist, you'd think he would spend at least a couple of minutes doing some research before he wrote the story. Secondly, he says the videos appear to be the results of a search for New Zealand in the title or the video description. Then he says, thus, my video was chosen because I have New Zealand in my profile. Um. That makes no sense. If the first part of his argument was true, then surely my video would have been chosen if I wrote New Zealand in the title or the description. The guy that wrote this is quite famous in New Zealand and he's supposed to be some kind of internet guru, so I don't know why he would write that. The fact of the matter is, I'm from New Zealand and I'm probably one of the most, if not the most, prolific New Zealander on YouTube. And the Daily English Show features quite a lot of New Zealand content. So I'm not at all surprised that they chose one of the Daily English Show videos to put on the New Zealand homepage. Another thing, the video definitely wasn't trying to teach the proper way of making brownies. No, that wasn't the point. I also think it's quite ironic that he is accusing YouTube staff of not doing enough research when if he did more than about five minutes research I don't think he would come up with these ridiculous conclusions. And finally I think it's outrageous that he is totally implying that I'm not even from New Zealand. Deep in her profile the uploader lists her hometown as the Coromandel New Zealand. Um, why wouldn't I write that? That's where I'm from. Okay, enough ranting for today, time for the news. Kia ora, in stick news today, more than 15,000 people in Samoa marched to Parliament to protest the government's plans to switch the road code from left-hand drive to right-hand drive. In Samoa, people now drive left-hand drive cars on the right side of the road, but the government is planning to change the rules so that vehicles would drive on the left side of the road. Many people aren't happy about the plans, and today's march was Samoa's biggest protest march in five years. The Speaker of the House spoke to the protesters. He thanked them for coming to Parliament, but said the government could not give them an immediate answer. He said the government accepted the protest and asked the protesters to now let the government go through the proper procedures.
Wherever God leads us to, we will go. It is the way to the future, he said. And that was Stick News for Tuesday the 18th of December. Kia ora. Why does the Samoan government want to change the side of the road people drive on? Do most countries in Polynesia drive on the left side? Does Samoa have strong ties with New Zealand? Is it independent now? Is that very different from Samoa? I don't know. Maybe it's so that it's the same as most of the other countries in Polynesia? Actually, I don't know. New Zealand does, and I just assumed that most of the islands were the same. Yeah, it used to be um, controlled by New Zealand. Yeah, apart from American Samoa, that's still controlled by America. Hmm, yeah, I think so. Write appropriate or correct according to the rules. A, thus. B, proper. C, deep. D, boring. E, irrelevant. Proper. As a result or consequence of this. Thus. Not interesting. Boring. Extending far down or in from the top or surface. Deep. Not important to or connected with a situation. Irrelevant. And that was the Daily English Show. See you tomorrow. Bye.